Hey, what's up guys? Today we're doing uh, another toy review here on the Star Wars Force Awakens 3-pack. We have uh, BB-8, Unkar's Thug, and the Jakku Scavenger. You remember from my last video on the coloring book, I did see Unkar's Thug there, and I finally managed to find a toy of him at my local Target. First though, before we get into opening this thing, let's take a look at the package here. Not much on the side there, but I do have a nice graphic here of them capturing BB-8 on the planet Jakku. Which uh, does give away a small plot point at some point, obviously, before Ray finds him. Or maybe as Ray finds him, he is captured by these scavengers here. Let's see what we got. Nothing much on this side. Uh, but on the back, right there, we've got a nice read-up of the three characters. If you want to take a, go read that, go ahead and pause it now. It's the same image we had at the front. Some more figures from the wave. Not much going on in the back. Uh, copyright stuff on the bottom. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and crack these guys open. Let's see what we think of them. Okay, so here we have our three pack out of the package and ready to go. And I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with these guys. They've got a fair amount of detail on them. Um, we're going to take a look at all three of them and their accessory here. We'll start with the accessory. All right. And just a basic net for catching BB-8. Now, it's kind of hard to get it to to fire. You got to squeeze both sides at the same time here. And see, it. it I don't know. I don't really care for it. I think it's kind of silly. My daughter, um, when she got a hold of it, she said the same thing. She just said it's too hard for kids to do. So anyway. Let's take a look first at the scavenger guy. Pretty neat looking. Nice detail in the helmet there, like I said. Pretty cool coming across here. I love the paint. I love the glossiness on the eyes. Really reflects like it's made out of some sort of glass. Um, yeah, decent. I mean, I haven't seen much of him in any promotional stuff. Like his little shoes. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There you go. See? So wearing little like sandals like he pulled off of a a starship or something and just made it for himself. But anyway, kind of reminds me of a uh, a Tuscan Raider almost. No, maybe. But yeah, uh, basic articulation on all these guys. Heads up and down. I like that the heads are on a ball joint. Gets you a little bit more kind of... If I can adjust my camera here. Kind of a little bit more posability out of the basic figure. My arms move up and down. Legs forward and back and you know basic five points but yeah and then his friend here in cars thug again really good detail on the glasses i like that i like the sculpting inside here on the head really cool on the headband there decent detail wraps all the way around comes with two accessories here a staff that reminds me of ray's staff and a little gun and then same articulation um little stiff on this guy because of these pieces right here he doesn't like to bend too far. But other than that, I mean, decent and easy to stand because he's already set like that. But yeah, I really like it. And the other one that I got with the set is the BB-8. And he is just a scaled down version of the Black Series one. Basic same little roll around joint there. Turns 360. Has the, the peg hole at the bottom. And uh, really cool detail on him, though. Again, really nice sculpting inside here. The little uh, rivets and stuff coming through across. Difference on each side, so it's not just a cut-and-paste type thing. Same thing on the top. Really nice detail. Good paint. Came out pretty clean, especially for something this size. A little smudging, but, you know, not too bad overall. And really cool in scale here with R2. My R2 is a little yellow, and he's kind of old. Yeah, he can just sit there. Hey, buddy. But one thing that was interesting as I was unboxing these is my daughter comes into the room and sits down and starts wanting to play. And she's able to take these guys and sit them down really easily and make them do whatever she wants. And it reminded me of back in the day when I was little, you know, with the original ones. And it reminded me of being a kid for instead of just a collector and a Star Wars fan. And being able to sit them down and get them just basically what I needed them to do for their positioning 
instead of, you know, ha being a collector and sitting there with the new ones and posing them like you do with the Black Series. So, at first I was opposed to the five points of articulation, but I really do think that it makes it a little bit better for kids, which is what these are aimed at, we have to remember that. But anyway, I definitely think I'm going to be picking up some more to open. I have a few already in the package um, from Force Friday, and then I found a Kylo Ren also. But I really want to pick up a Ray to kind of go with my BB-8 here, and a Poe if they make one without the helmet on his face. But thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great one, and uh, we'll see you more soon with some more... For uh, Star Wars Force Awakens news.